Getting that glowing tan skin comes at a high price. With trips to the beach and the pool, fun in the sun is what summer is all about. That is until Helios unleashes his UV-filled wrath on those who neglect to wear sunscreen. Without sunscreen, the skin is at risk to a host of problems, ranging from a harsh sunburn to skin cancer. There are two types of UV rays that harm the skin, UVA and UVB. UVA rays cause skin to age. They penetrate deep into the dermis, where they damage collagen that makes skin elastic and smooth, resulting in wrinkles. UVA rays also indirectly damage DNA. They generate free radicals, such as reactive oxygen species, which in turn cause DNA mutations. UVB rays directly damage DNA and cause sunburn. Damaged skin cells trigger an inflammatory response, which is the source of the sunburn's redness. Cells beyond repair die off, causing the sunburn to peel. In cells that don't die, unrepaired DNA damage caused by UVA or UVB rays can accumulate and lead to skin cancer. Sunscreen protects the skin from UVA and UVB rays. It contains UV filters, which form a protective barrier over the skin by either absorbing or reflecting UV rays. To increase its ability to block UV rays, researchers are currently working on adding antioxidants to sunscreen. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Keep watching to see real damage caused by UV rays. Sunburned kids hospitalized after daycare forget sunscreen. An Oklahoma mother is filing a police report against a children's daycare center after her kids received severe sunburns following a day at a local miniature water park. Employees of Happiness is a Learning Center, a daycare in Venita, Oklahoma, took the children to a splash pad but didn't bring sunscreen. The heat index that day neared 118 degrees Fahrenheit, the family claimed. The mother picked the boys up at 5 p.m. and she says they were clearly sunburned. According to the mother, daycare employees actually made fun of the boys when they saw their condition and said the oldest kid was being a baby and crying about it. The brothers were taken to three different area hospitals over the weekend as their symptoms grew more intense. The kids were eventually airlifted to a children's hospital in Texas. Connor, the oldest, suffered third-degree burns, while brother Trey had second-degree burns. Happiness is a Learning Center is now under investigation by the Department of Homeland Security and by Venita Police. Runner gets herself a really nice juicy leg tan. A long distance runner in the UK got a bit more than she bargained for after running a brutal 69 mile marathon in the hot baking sun. Mother Julie Nisbet was participating in a coast to coast run between Carlisle and Newcastle along Hadrian's Wall in an event titled The Wall. Nisbet says she put on sunscreen before the race, but didn't reapply during the run. Unfortunately for her, running for 21 hours in temperatures hovering around 30 degrees Celsius under a blazing sun probably wasn't the best thing for her mayonnaise-colored skin. After the mega run, she started seeing small sacks of pus pop up all over her sunburnt calves. The small sacks then turned into huge water balloons filled with orange pus. Thirsty, anyone? The 11-time marathon runner is now chilling and recovering at home, but says she plans to run again. Mom shares shocking selfie of her skin cancer treatment. A picture of a woman showing her face covered in bloody scars and blisters has been shared over 50,000 times since it was posted on Facebook last month. 27-year-old Tawny Willoughby bravely shared a shocking selfie of her face as a warning of the dangers of tanning beds. Willoughby confessed that she had been tanning ever since high school because her tan fades really fast. She is now battling various forms of skin cancer and is documenting her treatment as a warning to others. Wear sunscreen and get a spray tan, Willoughby said on her Facebook post. Learn from other people's mistakes. Don't let tanning prevent you from seeing your children grow up. That's my biggest fear now that I have a two-year-old little boy of my own. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Study shows car side windows may not block UV rays effectively. A new study shows that while the windshields of cars may block a majority of harmful rays from vehicle drivers and passengers, side windows aren't as effective. 
The study, published in JAMA Ophthalmology, found that car door windows offered varying levels of protection from sun rays that are tied to cataracts and skin aging. Researchers in the new study analyzed the ultraviolet protection provided by the glass in 29 cars from 15 different automobile manufacturers made from 1990 to 2014. They found that while front windshields blocked an average of 96% of UVA rays, side windows only blocked 71%. UV rays account for a small portion of the sun's rays. While some are filtered by the ozones, others UVB and UVA are not. UVA rays are the most damaging to the human skin and can penetrate through the second layer. Because drivers in the U.S. have their left side exposed to sunlight, UV rays have been blamed for the increased number of cataracts and skin cancers that occur on the left side. Researchers believe the inefficient protection provided by car side windows could be a contributing factor, but wearing proper sun protection could help.